Hello guys, in this video we are going to be learning about create function and append function. Create function helps us create a new uh, element let's say and uh, append function helps us to create new child elements for the parent element. Uh, if you don't understand what they mean, you're, you're gonna understand them with the practice. So open, a, open your code editor, then open your index.html file and here you can type HTML and it should be giving you boilerplate code. We are going to be deleting the lines that we are not going to be needing it for now. And here we can say append function and what was the other one? Create function. And then we can of course add some style. You know we have to have a classic style in which we say body should be with the background color of light green and then the text align should be center and uh, the paragraph that we will create and the button that we will create should have a font size of 50 pixel so that it can be visible and that's enough for the HTCSS and now we can move on with the with the HTML and we can here we can say append function well better to use small letters append function and create function and then you know what we can do we can create a button here and we are not going to be needing the name property right now and then we can say or attribute and here we can say create a new element and add content i know that a button text shouldn't be this much long, but I mean it's just to make it more understandable. And then we can create a new element with an ID of new text area. And I guess that's it for the HTML. And now we can create our we can create our JavaScript code. So, as you can see here, uh, first we will need to create a function for the button, and here we can say on click should be add paragraph. I think it's written like that. And then we can just copy this. And here, if you are using Atom as a code editor, if you type AF and press Enter, it will give you an error function. If you are using Visual Studio Code and if you type CFN, it will again give you an error function. I mean, it's, it's some autocomplete. If if it doesn't give you, you can download it. I mean, you can just go to your uh, Atom package. I mean, you can find that package. I mean, try to find it on the internet. And now let's say arrow function. And here I will say const add paragraph is equal to arrow function. And yeah, now I can say document create element paragraph. Ah, by the way, it's not. Uh, did I say create somewhere? Let me see. It's create element. Yeah. Did I say create element? Whoop. Yeah. So, document create element paragraph. But of course, creating an element is not going to make sense because the JavaScript will not know where to create these elements. So, we need to show JavaScript where to put this new element 
and for that we need to first store these new uh, element inside the variable we can say const new new element we can say and then and then this new element cannot stand as it is I mean it should go inside somewhere uh, of our HTML code which in other words mean it should become a child of either body it should become a child of either body or I don't know but it, it's not doesn't make sense but it should become a child of h1 or d so naturally it should become a child of d because we are creating a paragraph tag and paragraphs generally they are placed within view elements and now we can say new element oh no sorry new text no first I need to target it actually uh, or first I need to create text for the new element so I will say new element append this is new text so you know what this is gonna do new when I say new element append this is new text it means that we created we created a paragraph tag and we are we also created a content for this tag so right now the inner HTML of this new paragraph element is this this is new text and then so this append is, is used as you can see this append can be used in two ways one is that we can uh, define inner HTML of of any tag with it and the second is that we can make uh, not we can make also a new element I mean we can make any element the child of another element let's see so it's used in two cases and now here I will say document get element by ID which ID is this one because I want this new element to become a child of this element document create element by ID new text area dot append append what? append new element and I guess our code is finished and this should work so as you can see with button click we will create first a new element but it's going to be empty and then we will uh, add some text to this new element by using a append function and then we will uh, make this new element a child of this new element again with the same function which is append so I guess this is finished let's save it let's go to the folder open with Microsoft Edge this is our title and this is our button it looks weird but yeah this is our button so let's click on it as you can see our new element is created and click one more another paragraph is created one more another paragraph is created and another paragraph is created and another one is created so as you can see this way you can by using append you can add add text to an element or you can make that element a child of another element so that's it guys and see you next time